So for those of you who've managed to tune into our previous challenges, um, this one is challenge three, and we're now on the color orange um, as part of our rainbow of creation. If you haven't tuned in before, welcome. And just to let you know that these challenges from the Ram Museum in Exeter will all culminate in having your very own Ram inspired museum collection, um, which you're gonna create yourself from the comfort of your home. Um, and they're all inspired by things that you might find at the Ram Museum within their exhibitions, in the objects um, and the collections. So this week, we're gonna be working with jellyfish. Because some of you may have seen, if you've been into the museum, that there's these beautiful, um, beautiful, accurate drawings of jellyfish, which were created by an artist called Henry Goss. Um, a little fact about Henry Goss, he was a naturist, but he also wrote a book about aquariums, and he was the man who invented the word aquariums. So what you're gonna need today for making our jellyfish, mobile or lamp, is some orange ribbon, or if you haven't got that, you could use string or um, twine. We've got some scissors, some double-sided tape. If you haven't got that, clear sellotape could work, or PVA glue. We've got orange paint. I've got acrylic paint is what I'm using. I think that's best. If you don't have orange acrylic paint and you have got red and yellow acrylic paint, you can mix the two together to make your orange. Or if you don't have that, um, you could try using a poster paint, although I recommend putting a little bit of glue in it to give it uh, so it sticks better onto the plastic bottle. So you're going to need a plastic bottle. I'm just using one, but if you want to have lots of tentacles on a jellyfish, you might need a couple. Um, doily if you have one. If you haven't, don't worry, you can still make this. An elastic band, ideally a red or orange one is fantastic, but if you don't have one, just a normal coloured one. Um, a paintbrush, I'm using a thicker paintbrush, I find that's better for painting onto the plastic with. So that's about one centimetre thick. And also, I got this for Christmas from my dad, he's obsessed with lights. And it's a little LED lamp, little LED light, and some people have them on key rings. So if you have something like that lying around the house, that could be something you could try using for this. Um, and it's just to make your mobile into a little lamp in the evening, um, and I'll show you some pictures of when I tried using that on mine at night time. So that's all you're going to need. And uh, let's crack on with making. So I've got a one litre plastic bottle here. And as you can see, this is um, part of the finished jellyfish on this side. So just to give you an idea of where we're gonna cut down. So I'm gonna cut this almost halfway down, but a little bit further up. So not quite halfway. So I'll just put that out of the way for the moment. So I'm going to start cutting. You might need an adult to help you make that initial cut. And so what we're left with is this shape. So the next thing to do is I'm just going to cut about two centimetre cuts up. And I'm going to keep them quite thin so it looks quite delicate. And I'm going to do this all the way around. So the next thing I'm going to do on my bottle, after I've cut all these bits, is I'm just going to cut off, I'll just take that bit off because we don't need it, and I've got my doilies which I've pre-cut out, you can do this any way you want, and it's actually, I'm just using them to create pattern onto the bottle, so you might want to use them or you might not, it's completely up to you. Um, so I'm just going to stick a bit of double sided tape, or you could use PVA glue for this, or glue gum. So the reason why I'm putting these on as patterns is because I just think that it looks really nice to add a little bit of decoration to your jellyfish. So while you are making these, you can use decoration with paint, um, pens that you can draw on, plastic with, bit, other bits of paper that you've cut out. So there we are, that's the very least stuck on. So now I'm going to start painting the jellyfish with the orange. So I'm getting a little bit of paint and on the actual plastic, I don't want to put too much paint on because I want it to be relatively see-through. 
So if you get too much paint on your brush, you can just wipe it down the side of your paint pot and then just put a bit of paint on and then use that to rub across your jellyfish as far as you can all over the plastic to make a little go a long way and the other thing I would keep your paint strokes in the same direction so as you can see I'm just painting downwards and I'm not really painting on these bits either which I've cut so a little bit of paint so it just gives the plastic an orange sheen. And then once you've painted all the plastic, the next thing to do is paint this bit where you've got the doily on it. And I'm going to just paint this in a darker orange. Just to get a bit of contrast. Or at least a little bit darker than the bits we've painted. Good thing is you can hold it at the top here so that you don't get paint all over your hands. And there we are, and then you're just going to let that dry. So while we're waiting for our paint to dry, we've got the other half of the bottle, which we can get on with making the tentacles for our jellyfish. So I'm going to divide, I'm going to cut this into two sections. sections doesn't matter. Okay. And then what you're going to do is fold it in half and cut at the top and cut at the bottom. So we've now got four sections for our jellyfish and this should fit all around the inside of our bottle. So to make the jellyfish tentacles we're actually going to cut strips. So my, my strips are about half a centimetre wide, you may want to make yours thinner or thicker, that's your choice. And then when I've finished cutting those out. I'm going to get a bit of double sided tape, stick that onto my bottle and then that's going to stick onto the inside of my bottle to make, to curve around. So I now have my four pieces and I'm going to get my tape and then just stick them inside here. You can see I've made a little pattern on here. That's something you can do later after you've put your tentacles on. So as you can see, I have finished that using the one bottle, but if you wanted to make more tentacles, you could use a second plastic bottle and just cut it out in the same way that I showed you. I've just popped my elastic band on the top here, I've doubled it over, and I'm just going to show you how you can hang your ribbon. So I've got a piece of ribbon here and I'm just going to lay it on top and get one end of the plastic band and poke the ribbon through. So it's actually the elastic band is keeping it nice and steady. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Just get it a bit closer to the camera so you can see. There we are, and I put the ribbon through. Ideally, you want it through both bits of elastic bands because that will make it a lot stronger. 
So when you've attached it around the rubber band, I'm just going to tie a little knot in the end like that and just cut it. And then that is where I can hang from. Um, I've also got here the little light and if you want to add the light this little bit here you could attach with another elastic band tying it through or a bit of wire or a bit of string. So I'm just going to use a little bit of ribbon to attach my LED light. So if I don't have a little bit of plastic or something to put the LED light attached to I could wrap the ribbon around it and then hang that into my light and then just tie it off on this ribbon here there we go. and that's how you make your basic jellyfish I'm just going to turn the little light on so you can see this looks really nice in the dark I'll give you some so that's the basic idea of how you can make your jellyfish from a plastic bottle you can also this is the bit when you can decorate it even more with using um, pen or white paint and maybe put some little patterns, dots, wiggly lines, curves. This is your own invention to make it your own very unique jellyfish lamp. So we would absolutely love to see any creations that you come up with as part of Ram at Home and the address to send it to is hashtag Ram at Home or the email which will be at the bottom of this video. And we also want to say an extra special thank you to the staff and members of Magic Carpet and they are completely right when they say art makes you feel good. So a big thank you and sending love out to the Magic Carpet people. And also it's a big bye-bye from me and thanks for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you hopefully next week for the next challenge. I hope you are having fun making and drawing. Okay, bye-bye.